Uh, the first thing you'll notice uh, compared to the stock tech tree and the community tech tree is it has been de-squished. The uh, stock tech tree is, is kind of all down in this corner for whatever reason. Um, and what I've done is I've, I've brought it over starting over on the left side since anything that's going to be added will be on the right side so that that makes a little more sense and I've also expanded it uh, to take advantage of the full vertical palette that we have here so so it should be less squished although it's still still pretty dense in places it does look like there's uh, more uh, nodes here and there are not a not a great deal I've, I've removed some of them but primarily they've just been rearranged so for instance there was all of this uh, nuclear power uh, technology nodes up here those have been moved down into uh, down into this section here so that they come in off of electronics and heat management and whatnot instead of coming out of your rocket line which really doesn't make a great deal of sense in my opinion um, also we had at the bottom for the community tech tree there was a colonization and a logistics uh, line I've combined those and and brought them in off of life support so they come in off survivability and that is your survivability and colonization line here Next, we have uh, a new line for the Soviet-style re-entry pods. Um, I don't think they really have a, a niche in the, uh, in the stock tech tree because uh, there's always something better in the same node, so there's really no point in ever using them. So I, uh, I've made this new line for them because they are cruder and cheaper. You're allowed to get them earlier, so whereas the... Uh, regular command module comes in on tier 5 the uh, Soviet style reentry pod come in pink is uh, available on tier 4 and they're also half price of the normal cost for the tier so I think this uh, gives them an actual useful niche should uh, your uh, play style and setup that you're using uh, Sometimes that could actually be an, uh, an attractive option. The downside to it is it doesn't lead anywhere. So any points you put into these doesn't help you out anywhere else on the uh, on the tree. So I thought that was uh, maybe an interesting trade-off. Uh, we have uh, expanded the two lines that the uh, stock tech tree breaks rocketry into and, and kept that going. So. Now we have a line for your boosters, essentially this is your power line. And then the line up here is your specialist rocketry. This is where you have all of the alternate technology ones like the uh, OMS. And also this is your uh, engines that are optimized for vacuum. All right, I think that is pretty much it for the structure of the tech tree. Um, so now let's look at some of the things that are specific to the uh, uncurbled start. Uh, we're going to be starting with the Probodobodyne Stay Putnik. And for an engine, we're just going to have a single solid rocket booster. This is a 0.625 meter format. This particular one is from the Restock Plus mod. Uh, if you have that mod installed, it uh, replaces the RT1 that I have in my mod, which is just a rescaled RT10. Uh, the first liquid engine you get is is this new LVT05, which is a rescaled uh, T30, and again this is a 0.625 meter format. The entire uh, rocketry line has essentially been scooted up anywhere from two to three tiers or so. So the uh, the uh, Reliant and the Swivel that you get early in the stock game have been moved all the way up to tier five heavy rocketry and everything else has kind of been normalized around those. This was done so that uh, the, the rocket power is always gonna be the pain point. That's the intent so that you're, uh, um, you're always not quite having enough power to do what you, what you would like to do as soon as you'd like to do it. And the intent of that is to kind of encourage you to develop the uh, Kerbin sphere of influence with the uh, 
with the moons there before heading out to Duna. And to help balance that out, most of the other parts have been moved up. So for instance, uh, docking ports are moved up so that you'll be able to do uh, stations sooner. Um, the couplers and whatnot and have been moved moved up and i think that's pretty much it for the tech tree as far as things i wanted to cover